So hi there guys, it's Connor Plays here. Just coming at you with another Paladins video. This is a different type of video for me actually. Normally I like, a, you know, a bit of gameplay mixed into my videos. So primarily, this video is all going to be about the new 1.6 skins. Now this is an exclusive one and anyone can get onto this. It's just the test server you can go on and just download it off the internet. Which is what I've done and I've installed it. And I've just bought all the skins because obviously you have unlimited money on the test servers. So we're just going to jump into look at all the skins and all the weapons now. And you're going to get my opinions on them all. So coming in first, we actually have Maldamba. He's got a new skin. His default skin isn't actually that bad, you know, it quite fits the character that he is. But as you can see, he's got the new Wicker Man skin. And if you equip that, it's pretty similar, although he's just a bit of a Scarecrow slash Wicker Man style character. Now, it looks quite sick, to be honest. You know, he's got them a little orange accents to go with the Halloween theme of the, the new event. Um, the snake looks so, so sick. It looks so much better than the other snake, as you can see, if I equip that one. So that's just a plain old boring snake and now he's got the little horns and stuff, it looks quite cool. The next skin that we actually have is Androxus. Now his initial skin itself, the default one, is actually quite cool, you know, the character um, design itself it is pretty good as it, as it goes. Androxus' new skin is actually a Huntsman and if we go ahead and just click on that, as you can see it, it's all Halloween themed, he's got that sick little cape going on, it looks quite cool, he's got the little hairy arm as if he's, you know, a werewolf or something. Might be a teaser to another skin coming soon. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, he looks pretty sick. In my opinion, the weapon looks so much better like that because it looks like more of a revolver-style weapon. Um, but yeah, that Androx's skin is sick. It looks like a bit of a werewolf meets cowboy meets, you know, vampire hunter or something like that anyway. But yeah, it's sick anyway. So the next one we've got is actually quite interesting. It's the Eevee skin. And as you can see, initial skin, you know, it's quite boring, but, you know, it goes with the style of it, you know, because she's a nice character and stuff. But if you equip the new one, it looks pretty sick, to be honest. You know, she's got, you know, the decent outfit. She's a witch, which obviously that was what they were going to go for with Eevee. Because obviously she's got the broom already. Why would you not go for that? But it looks sick anyway. That new little broom she's got, the new um, the new staff, looks absolutely insane with that little star on the end. And, you know, the little brush end there. And, you know, the hat's just cool. And she's just a cool character anyway. Not that I can actually play her, but she's a cool design of a character. So next up, we've actually got the Mad Bomb King himself. And as you can see, his skin's pretty cool. He's, he's, he's always been a pretty cool character to be honest where if we equip his new skin which is actually the pump king see what they did there <laughs> it's actually so much better you know it fits the theme they got all the pumpkins going on it looks absolutely sick that's an insane skin in my opinion they've absolutely overhauled that character completely all these skins that they've added to the game are completely new not i don't want to say new characters but they look like new characters you, you, you know that to that is is pretty different to be fair whereas you know some of the other skins like Say that one to the Monarch skin. It's not much different, so that's not, you know, it's, it's just a different colour variant. Whereas that is a complete overhaul of that skin, and it looks absolutely sick. So just coming on to Fernando, who actually has got a new skin himself. He's actually got two colour variants of his new promotional skin, which I'll just be able to show you now as well. He's actually got the Nightmare skin, which is the bait, well, I want to say basic, but it's not basic, is it? It's absolutely amazing. But, you know, the basic promotional skin, and it looks absolutely sick. He looks like a, he looks like one of the, I want to say, White Riders in The Witcher. But that's what he reminds me of anyway. You know, he's got the icy, ghouly looking body with, you know, all that tanky armor. Looks pretty sick. But his other color variant of that skin, I think, looks much better. As you can see, it's got the orange going on. I just prefer that color style much, much more. You know, it looks like flames as opposed to... You know, a, a ghouly style spectral thing. And personally, I think the flames go with Fernando as a character a lot more. And I like this orange colour as well that he's got going on. It looks pretty amazing. Now, coming up next, we actually have the Vivian skin, which I was pretty hyped for because that's one of my favourite characters. But then, when I started looking at them, they're not actually that good, if I'm being honest. You know, she's got this Daywalker one, which, to be honest, it's a different style of outfit. But, you know, she's still got the top pants boots which is you know classic vivian it's just a different color variant really the weapon on the other hand though looks absolutely sick the weapon in my opinion looks so much better though that one just looks like a basic rifle whereas you click on that and it's you know it's got like the little wing it's got the stake in the end it looks absolutely sick she's like a vampire slayer or something and she's actually got another color variant on this skin which is why i've left it to later on in the video and it's this contessa skin now i don't really know how i feel about that i know the weapon looks absolutely amazing that looks much better than any other weapon on any other vivian skin in my opinion but the outfit itself i'm not a huge fan of i'd rather go with that with that color weapon but, you know, that's just me. The next skin that I'm pretty hyped for as well is actually the Ying skin. Now, Ying as a character is pretty sick, pretty good healer, and I find she's a bit 
underplayed, maybe underrated, I don't really know. But in my opinion, she's absolutely sick. Now, the new skin she's got is actually the Death Speaker skin, and it looks... As you can see, it's a completely different character again. It's absolutely amazing. She's got that little spectral um, body going on and all that armor and that thing hanging on her back, which I don't even know why it is, but it looks absolutely sick. And a new little mirror thing you have to use as a weapon looks absolutely amazing like that. It's like a portal as opposed to the mirror. Oh no, it's like a portal and I always thought it was a mirror. But anyway, I still think, but I think it looks absolutely amazing anyway. It looks like it could actually do some damage to you. Now, if we go on the Banshee skin, which is actually another colour variant of that skin, um, it's it's okay. It's a bit more of a Casper theme going on. I don't really know, but I just think it's a bit worse than that one. I don't know. I just like that style of armour a lot better than I do that one, personally. I don't mind the purple. It's more the green and the purple. I just They just don't contrast well for me. So, to the next skin, that's actually pretty sick, to be honest. And, it, it, you know, it was a surprise to me that they actually brought this out. It's actually Talus. And Talos hasn't really got many skins, but this skin is absolutely sick. It's quite fun, it's quite jokey, which is exactly what his character's meant to be. So if we go ahead and equip it, it's actually this little, you know, jokey alien costume thing. Like, he looks like he's going to trick or treat in Halloween, and it looks absolutely sick. Goes with the character so well, and his weapon looks absolutely amazing. It's just so strange and so Talos, in my opinion. So for the next champion, we've got Victor. Now, Victor's got a lot of skins, probably the most skins in the game, and I always got, you know, these different variants of the same skin. But generally, he's probably got the most skins in the game, you know, for any champion. That being said, his skin is absolutely sick. It's absolutely off the chain. It's probably the best skin that they've brought out, in my opinion. And it's this full moon skin. And as you can see, he's just completely transformed to a werewolf. And it looks absolutely amazing. I do like the weapon as well. Do I like it more than that one? Um, that one's a bit more classic Victor, whereas I think the full moon one is a bit more Halloween-y. You know, it's got the bone handle and the bone stock at the bottom. And it looks pretty sick. I love these chains going around them as well. They are amazing, to be honest. Um, just as a character in general, it just looks absolutely sick. The boring character of Victor, they've absolutely smashed out the park by, you know, giving him a bit of an edge and, you know, completely transforming that character. And it looks absolutely cool, to be honest. So technically, this one isn't a skin, but it's pretty sick anyway. It's the new character, Dredge. I've seen a few videos in him, and I've, you know, messed about with him a little bit. He looks absolutely insane. It, he's completely broken as a champion. I think he'll get nerfed quite a lot when it actually comes out. That being said, I'm going to show you the golden variant, which you get with the mastery reward. So if we go on golden dredge, as you can see, it just looks sick. He gets, an, he gets a black squid, and he gets a black outfit, as opposed to, you know, the purple and the purple, which I think, I don't know, makes him look a bit worse, in my opinion. Makes him look like a bit less of a badass. Whereas when you give him the mastery skin, the golden one, he looks absolutely sick, like something out of Pirates of the Caribbean, something straight out of Davy Jones's locker. So we're then over to the Dark Tides events, as you can see, this is where we got all them spectrally looking skins from. I'm going to actually show you different variants of these skins, if you don't like them, the ones that I've showed you. So we have these basic ones, which are, you know, obviously the Ying, the Fernando, the Vivian, and the Victor. And then if we go on the store, you can actually get the different colour variants, which are the Banshee, Sanguine, and Contessa, which look absolutely sick, all of them. Other than that Contessa, I think they're all very, very good. That Sanguine is amazing. And the Banshee, it's okay. It's better than the original character, but it's not better than the original skin, this one. Now, if we head over to the vault, you can actually see that you can trade in um, these little keys, which you actually get from the Dark Tides event for these different skins. Now, they have this Iron Maiden skin of Anara, and it looks amazing, to be honest. It, it's absolutely badass. These floating metal shards around there. She's absolutely tin. She looks like a silver surfer meets Iron Man type of, you know, she, she's going to absolutely kick ass, if you ask me. That weapon as well looks absolutely amazing. So if we head over to the next one, we've got the maze skin, which I don't know. I just think the purple cheapens the whole outfits on all the champions, if I'm being honest. It looks okay. You know, she's got the horns, she's got the orange going on. But I just don't like the purple. And Maze's not really my favourite character anyway, to be honest. So, you know, I'm a bit conflicted on that one. Don't really like that skin. It's actually a Tyra skin. Now, in my opinion, this skin is sick. She's sort of like, all the other skins are very dark and they're very Halloween-y, whereas this, I feel, is like the anti-hero almost. You know, she's got that little thing around her head which looks like a halo. I know it's obviously not, but that's what it looks like. And she's got the gold and the white, which makes me feel like she's the anti-hero to all these different types of skins, and it looks sick, to be honest. We'll definitely be getting that one or the Androxus one, which I'm going to show you now. So this is the Androxus one, and it looks absolutely sick you know he's got that spectral thing going on he's got the orange he's got a little bit of purple but i don't mind that the gun itself looks absolutely sick as well it's like the other one but a bit more of an orange color variant and it looks absolutely amazing and he's got you know that halo thing going on again 
which looks amazing. It's a good touch to the characters, that, in my opinion. But them skins are absolutely fire. They are amazing, these little variants of the skins. Bar Maves, which is still better than the original skin. But, you know, these skins, you know, they blew out the park with them ones. They're complete overhauls of the original characters and any other skin that they've got. And it's amazing. So just at the end of this video, as a little bonus, just in case you haven't seen it, I'm actually going to play a little bit of Dredge just on the shooting range. Just to show off the character a little bit. As you can see, his left click does absolutely insane damage. It bounces to a certain height and then explodes. It's like a, you know, it's a basic projectile, but it does insane amounts of damage. And if it hits directly, it, get, it obviously explodes. That's a bonus. You don't really have to have too much skill to hit people with them. You do when it bounces, though, to be fair, because it always bounces to the same height. You can't, like... Like, if it's at the floor there, still bounces to the same height. If I throw it at the wall, still bounces to the same height, as you can see. He's actually got another skill as well, which is actually a reload um, attack, which actually Maldamba is the only other character that's got this. But as you can see, when he reloads, he fires this little blue spectral ball out. That actually does a thousand damage as well, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, if we go ahead and see his right click, his right click is actually three different projectiles. They bounce up, and, you know, they do insane amounts of damage. You can actually spread them out as well, as you can see. You know, and have a bit of a burst effect, which is absolutely sick. They have um, a little bit of a cooldown, but not much. You can, um, you know, just carry on firing them and spam them out a little bit. One of his other skills is actually his Q as well, which is insane. It's this big harpoon. And it's got a little bit of a hitbox, but not a major hitbox. Like, as you can see there, I'm getting in between the legs and it's not doing no damage. So you do have to get pretty accurate with this thing. I've chosen my talent at the beginning, and he's got one that actually gives you no cooldown on Dredge at all on that spear. A uh, little harpoon attack, which is absolutely insane, the amount of damage it does. I've actually seen a few different Paladins YouTubers use this little combo where you do your left click attack and throw the harpoon, which actually does insane amounts of damage. If you have to aim them correctly, it can do insane amounts of damage. You know, you're taking it, you're taking out that tank pretty quickly if you do that little combo. And also, if you look here, I can throw this harpoon and I can actually get all the way to that Ying over there, which is insane amount of range. You know, I think the range is pretty unlimited on that. Obviously, he's got a limited range in his, you know, left-click basic ability. But, you know, his harpoon attack is just, you know, it goes on forever. The other skill I've actually got as well is this little teleport attack. You know, you can put down that little portal and no matter where I run, whether I'm in here fighting all these, you know, I can burst that attack. And that portal could be around the corner and I'm getting a bit of trouble here and I just go F. And it gives me a bit of immunity and takes me back to where I was. So, you know pretty sick to be honest. Now one of his other good skills and probably one of his best ones is actually his ult. So if we go ahead and ult here, he actually Release. gives this little vortex which brings these little tentacles out and does 4,000 damage to every character in that area. That is an insane amount of damage in my opinion and he's absolutely broken as you can see. Look, you can just harpoon and you know left click and these characters just melt, absolutely melt. And you've even got the ability to jump out of the battle by using the F skill. Which in my opinion, is just unbelievable. Now I'm not going to do a gameplay of Dredge because you can actually look on YouTube and find probably about five different videos showing you in playing a, playing a game. So just to look in this video, I'll show you the skins. I'll show you a little bit of Dredge in case you haven't seen them. But mostly I want to show off the skins because they're absolutely amazing. High Res or Evil Mojo or whatever they want to call themselves have done an amazing job with them skins. This new promotion is absolutely unreal. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this little show off of Dredge. And I hope you enjoyed the little show off of the skins as well. They're absolutely sick. Please leave in the comments your favourite skin. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe for more Paladins content. I will be doing more content on this test server. Please do go check out some of the other videos on the channel as well. All the other Paladins videos. That being said, that's the end of the video. Goodbye.